Hey guys, it's Wednesday again, which means it's again top 5 Wednesday. Oh well, that's my next video because I'm still not through with my TBR jar book, The Pillars of the Health by Ken Follett. But um, enjoy this video. This week's topic is actually five books which I would save from fire. And this is kind of a hard thing to do because um, a series doesn't count as one and so I can't take one of my favorite series with me. So I can just pick some books of the series and when I try to come up with single books I just came up with four. So um, <laughs> number five is probably the worst explanation for choosing a book that you've ever heard. Because place number five goes to the Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett uh, because I'm reading it currently and I want to finish it because it's my TBR dryer book and as I said that's just the worst explanation ever given for choosing a book as a top five. I hope you understand me. <laughs> this is this was a really hard topic, but now it's good gets better a little bit a little bit um number four actually goes to the eighth book of the scholarly pleasant series by Derek Lundy um I would love to rate it higher but it's uh I'm still furious about some things that happens in this book uh so I can't rated it higher. It's actually one of my favorites out of the series and I also would have saved the first one um, but since I actually gave it to a friend so she could read it, it's not in my house and it would be, wouldn't be affected if there was a fire and I haven't to save it. So I choose the eighth for fourth place because I really love this book. I'm still furious about it and some points um, those of you who've read it, guess that they will know what I'm talking about. Number four. Actually, now it gets better and the explanation's getting better. Please don't laugh at me, but my number three is a really, really, really old copy of Grimm's Fairy Tales. Um, which I choose because um, those were stories my parents read to me when I was little and it's kind of that I grow old with them and I still love them even though I'm not reading them anymore and this book is just really old. It uh, belongs to my mother and I think but I'm not sure before her to my grandmother. Falling apart every now and then but that's also probably a reason why I would save it because it's just really old and Kind of um, really important for me is like sentimental those feelings <laughs> was a book that I always had when I was younger before I started reading by myself. So yeah, that's number three. Second place goes to again the Goldberg Pleasant series. It's the ninth book, uh, which I probably would save because it's the last book, it's kind of the ending and I was kind of... I'm still not over it after all. Um, even though the title of the new series by Derek Lundy is announced to be... is to be announced today. So, um... I'm still not over this. This is kind of uh, strange and I guess those of you who've read it can understand me somehow but actually it's um yeah I would say because it's the final of this series and everything clears up and everything gets linked to each other and you finally understand some things that you maybe haven't understand the first one. Well for me it was it was like that and it's just uh funny and sad and makes someone angry and everything like that at the same time. There was a tweet of Derek Lundy on Twitter last week where he said that he loves to 
turn the dagger in his readers' hearts while writing this and you truly can feel this with those books which starting like with the I don't know with the six books, five book, fifth book somewhere around there it's just like you feel the dagger that he's pointing at you and turning at you and yeah and that's kind of the, the top of every cruelty he can do to you right after the eighth one Place number two to Scottery Pleasant, The Dying of the Light by Derek Lundy. Finally, place number one goes to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Why I placed it number one is, is a really simple explanation. It's again a really bad one. And this kind of is a video of bad explanations and of me stumbling and can't find my words and everything like this. I choose this because, uh, well, it was the book I learned to read with by my own. It was actually the first book I totally read by my own, read by my own, I'm sorry. There was no other book before this. Well, there were those school books you learn reading with, but this was actually my first book. I read very voluntarily and it was just awesome and I still love it. And I feel the arch urge to read it again, but probably I won't because I'm still there with my pillars of the earth. But this was the first book I read by myself. I learned reading with it. I learned reading also with the second one, but um, yeah, that's why I choose it first. And it has also like the grim fairy tales, really subtle importance to me, sentimental importance to me. Again, feelings. Uh, so I rated it number one. It's my 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 heart book somehow. Number one goes to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone or whatever you want to call this one. So here we are. This is a really heavy thing this time. Those are my top five books that I would save in the fire. Uh, with the worst explanations ever given for something like this. You're wondering why I have so many German books. Uh, well, I come from Germany, that's one reason. But in fact, I prefer reading the original ones in English, but um, there are also some books like the Harry Potter one that I read when I was younger, when I couldn't speak English like that. Now I barely understood it. Um, even though I learned it from the first grade, but it was like I started reading with them and also it's like some books belong to my parents or my parents bought them and everything like this and they're kind of standing in our shelves like for years. Um, that's why I got so many German books or there's another reason which is, which is kind of the greatest or the biggest why I own so many German copies even though I prefer the English ones. Um, sometimes I just can't wait to get them when I order them. So I'm just buying them when they're in front of me. Because I don't want to wait until the, the mail gets my book and everything like this. So yeah, that's why I answered many German copies. But tell me now, what are your top five books that you would save from a fire? Write it down below in the comments. In the description you can find the link to the Goodreads group where everything like this happens and where the themes are announced and everything like this. And also a link to the to a list of all top 5 Wednesdayers. Watch their videos too. Um, they're great like I said last week. Last week, not, not yesterday. Tell your friends about this video, share it, like it, comment it. Tweet it on Twitter, whatever, whatever you want or don't, and next video will probably be next top 5 Wednesday video, because I'm not going to get through this whole lot in one week, but maybe in two, I don't know, maybe I got it in one week, depends on how much I have to do for school. Um, yeah, the things you can see in the group, which I Put the link down below in the description, like I already said. I still have to choose my topic for the 
month March and I didn't got it now. I probably do it right now. But I still have to finish this one, but I'm picking it now so I can prepare what's happening to me after the pillows dry. What fall down was just a white piece of paper which I filled in to make it look a little more full. So I'm going to pick, 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 pick. Oh, I'm going to pick a pink one. No, yeah, a pink one. A pink one. Still glued together because they were unfolding and this was just bad. Read a book with 500 plus pages. Are you kidding me? Can I combine two months? Because this actually has under over 500 pages. It has twice this number. Um, I don't know. I am... Um, I'm just thinking of what I'm going to read. Um, a friend of mine wanted to give me Looking for Alaska by John Green, but this doesn't actually have over 500 pages, I guess. Maybe it has. I'll look this up. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know on Twitter which one I choose. Yeah, to get my updates, just follow me on Twitter at Demonic Shadow, like you can see on the end card, which is coming like somewhere from there. Um, you can also follow me on Goodreads or with my reviews on Goodreads. Well, right at the moment it's just one review, but maybe there'll be more to come. Um, and maybe there will also be some of my short stories I want to enter there. Just read whatever you want, do whatever you want, enjoy your life, come on. This is just about enjoying our lives. We'll see next week. Thanks for watching, guys. I still have to choose my topic for the Munch Marv. For the Marv.